to those who enjoy the Orlovsky Objective. <sighs> Say hello to Blackie. Say hello, Blackie. Okay. 
I was thinking what to make this video, what subject, and you'll see from the opening clip was the end of a Star Trek Next Generation episode. I guess the subject was love, and it's as good a subject as any, oh, as uh, Blackie uh, tears up the carpet. Which uh, will be replaced in a new leasing environment in the next three months that I'm working on. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but to just say it. It is like the rock lyrics of Sammy Hagar. All about mental masturbation. When you think about it, our own imagination is used against us. They give us a little drop of information and we supply the fuel that takes us into their honey pot. I see the process repeated over and over and over again just about makes me cry <sighs> but uh, emotion is just passing fancy if we don't find a way to get on top of this we never will and I don't know how to put it. I feel alone. I know I'm not. The power of the Holy Spirit I'm not gonna speak in fucking tongues but I'm gonna manifest something what drama? I'm an actor. I'm a crisis actor. I do it for free. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Let's get comfortable. This is uh, an experiment to basically have to write less and there being less of a record of what I'm up to by video, experimentally, whatever, without a script, except the one in my head. I want to bring you up to date on the box. What's in the box? Well, the box is waiting for everyone, metaphorically speaking. And, uh... I can only give examples, metaphors. When Google, the great military experiment, gave everyone their Gmail box, they basically were doing a version of science fiction, Dune, worms, folding space and time, whatever. The more data, one byte of da data starts, they label it, and it's an ever-expanding uh, box of shit. Your shit, whatever belongs to you now, so to speak. And uh, this box pretty much uh, never needs to go away, never needs to be deleted. Uh, we'll build room for it someplace in Utah and call it a uh, data center or whatever. And the experiment will uh, live on, uh, just be added to, etc. And uh, my whole mission was to find out how the fuck this all works. Use whatever is at my disposal. Super imaginary powers of doubt and self-doubt. Uh, uh, unique experiences. Uh, personal points of view. Word salad. Oh my god. We don't like your word, word salad. All your comments are word salad. Good. And I harvest you in the name of the fake uh, algorithm generated go to blah blah blah. Okay. Let's get on the same page if that's possible. 
I am at a level in my research, and if you, you have access to my comments, I've changed it all to verbal commands. I use whatever's around me as a mirror to my, uh, what I can do or theoretically can do. That Xfinity uh, voice command, I personalized it, uh, just like something 200 miles above your head. Uh, what started out as a garage door opener, pick your decade, uh, pick your world war, now, you know, upgraded to an X Xfinity voice command, and uh, we're not only opening up garage, garage doors over North America, we're maybe getting more personal. And uh, you might want to work on uh, the updated version of LifeLock, which I might be working on, that doesn't call you every time you try to access your own banking information. It's more like your own personal robot, Tobor, that uh, wouldn't exist without you and owes its allegiance to you. And if it sounds like a great science fiction story, who cares? I might be the greatest science fiction writer you never even heard about. So, whatever, do I need credit for it? No. Will this video prove that I even existed? Maybe. Did I wake up with this hair? Yes. I just put on a shirt and I present my objective. The Erlovsky objective. Why resist? I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. But if you don't, uh, what's the word? You want to fight me? You don't have the level, you don't have the skill. Uh, Mark for Death, uh, Steven Seagal, uh, there's twins. I'm triplets, okay? You don't have a chance. That's all I'm gonna say. So, you wanna subscribe to me, don't subscribe to me. I call out the fake channels, and it's all fake pretty much except for me. So, you wanna play around, let's play. You wanna learn, let's learn. Uh, class is in session, okay? 24 hours a day. Uh, I don't charge for tuition. But respect, well, there's a comment for that I won't get into. So, I'm going to stop now and uh, probably recharge my batteries. Okay. That's pretty good. They'll never believe that. That you do with each other. That is what we do. And for that, we are called misfits and deviants and criminals. What right do you have to punish us? What right do you have to change us? What makes you think you can dictate how people love each other? Next on each other. Hello to those who enjoy. The Orlovsky Objective. <laughs> Say hello to Blackie. Say hello, Blackie. Okay. Uh, I was thinking what to make this video, what subject. And you'll see from the opening clip was the end of a Star Trek Next Generation episode. I guess the su subject was love, and it's as good a subject as any, uh, as uh, Blackie uh, tears up the carpet, which uh, will be replaced in a new leasing environment in the next three months that I'm working on. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but to just say it. It is like the rock lyrics of Sammy Hagar. All about mental masturbation. When you think about it, our own imagination is used against us. They give us a little drop of information and we supply the fuel that takes us into their honeypot. I see the process repeated over and over and over again. It just about makes me cry. <laughs> but uh, emotion is just passing fancy. If we don't find a way to get on top of this, we never will. And I don't know how to put it. I feel alone. I know I'm not. 
the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to speak in fucking tongues, but I'm going to manifest something. It was drama. I'm an actor. I'm a crisis actor. I do it for free. I can't take it anymore. It was drama. I'm an actor. I'm a crisis actor. I do it for free. It was drama. I'm an actor. I'm a crisis actor. I do it for free. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>